Morning everyone. Morning. Another beautiful day. I know. Cold? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, definitely cold out there. Um but um we've had some lovely sunny days. Mm. Mm. Well, the, when we were walking up for lunch yesterday up to the pub it was bitter, wasn't it, on your face? Yeah. Although yeah. some were out and it what looked absolutely gorgeous. We were in the pub for how long, Pat? I don't know. What, half past one till Four? Half one till four. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Had a lovely meal. A lovely food in there. It was um, brisket with homemade coleslaw and and chips. It was. I don't know what they topped it with and done it with, but it was just absolutely as tender and delicious as you could wish for. For that brisket. Little bit fatty, but that's only to be expected, isn't it? The brisket. The brisket. Mm. Then we got talking, didn't we? Mm. Um, a, a, couple a couple came, came in, in, and the guy, he were out. He, he were in the Royal Engineers out in Germany at the same time as me. Um, and he, um, he won't believe it. But he was actually in 3-2 Armoured Engineer Regiment, same as me. But he was stationed, I think he was maybe a, a few years after me, wasn't he? Mm, I think he was right stationed there. at, he said they disbanded oh, no. um, my regiment after I left. You see, this is this happens when I leave. <laughs> you know, things collapse when I leave. Um... But it were reformed again it, um, in Munster Lager, I think he said. Um, yeah. And of course, the Ark was comp that I drove it was scrapped. Scrapped altogether. Um, yeah. Probably couldn't get anybody small enough to drive me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I used to have to sit on a cushion when I drove it. Um, no, it just the the it was just a cumbersome, mm, idiotic. Machine. All right, in a war, where you just leave it in a river, mm. but in peacetime when you have to recover it, it's a right pain. So not surprised that they, they discontinued with it. Um, but they come up with better design bridge layers anyway. There's a. A couple, oh, uh, that I think I've mentioned them before, that are going full-time. They're sell, sold up and they're going full-time in February. Shall I mention the name? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they sent me a little message asking me to think up a name for their... Presumably they're going to do a vlog. Um, so... The YouTube videos, so I sent them a few ideas. <laughs> I don't know what they'll make of them. I think they'll choose last one. All right. Rather than first two. <laughs> That's the quirky. <laughs> please, please save. Please save, yeah. Yeah, you, you always play safe, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Um, I'm a safe, straight-laced. Oh, she is. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, oh, you have to have somebody like that with you, though. Otherwise, you'd be very wayward. <laughs> it's not a risk-taker, are you, Pat? No. <laughs> uh -huh. no. no. Now... Do you know why they call an overstrung piano an overstrung? I wonder. There's, you know, there's two types of pianos. 
straight strungs and over strungs. I wonder if you know why they're called overstrung. Um, I was thinking about it last night. I was trying to count up all the notes, trying to um, picture the keyboard in my head. Hey, look, can you hit boiler? It's having a scream. <laughs> and we've run out of gas. Yeah, again. last night. So I've got to go and get some gas today. Again. Yeah, I've got to ring him when I've done this video. Uh, going back to the piano. Well, they call an overstrung an overstrung because the treble strings, which are from the top end of the piano round about to the middle, probably round about middle C, somewhere round about there, it does vary. And they travel in that angle. They start off at the top end straight to the strings and then gradually they get at an angle like that and then the bass strings at the bass end they go at that angle like that over the top over the top they go they travel over the top of the treble strings and that's where the term overstrung comes from because so the bass strings travel over the treble strings so in the middle you've got like a V that ain't got any strings. Mm, a little V there, yeah. Because yeah. <coughs> they're there going is, down there. Yeah. There is another type, you don't often see them, called oblique strung pianos. Only come across them a few times. And there, all the strings travel in the same direction, but they're not straight, they're a bit long, they travel in at an angle. All in the same direction. Do you know why they travel at an angle? Why would they know that? Even I don't know that. Because <laughs> they're longer. If the shortest distance is from the in a piano, an upright is from the top to the bottom. So on straight strung pianos, the the strings are shorter. So on overstrung pianos, they travel diagonally because it's a longer distance from corner to corner in the piano. That that way and that way. Yeah, no. So they're longer. What um, about an oblique? Yeah, they're longer because they are travelling at an angle across the back of the piano, travelling at an angle, so they're getting a little bit more length. All oh, right. The longer the strings, the richer the tone. That's why the the big, beefy German overstrungs that are high profile have a r much richer tone than low profile mm. pianos. Yeah. A bit more piano information. Mm. Yeah. Oh well. I don't know whether you... you're interested in uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Can't you think of old L. Stalin? Are you running out of? Running on fumes. Running on fumes. Uh, running on fumes, man. Huh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I am running out. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. The the chap who we were speaking to in pub yesterday, he had a poem, didn't he? But I can't remember what it was. It was about. But it was quite good, wasn't it? Three two. He got interrupted though. Yeah, he did, didn't he? No yeah. one's interested in poetry. <laughs> Tried to tell it, but he got interrupted. Yeah. Somebody interrupted him. Yeah. yeah. It's a very friendly pub. It is. Uh, a nice pub. We had a few laughs. Uh, coal man came in with some coal. Oh, it was back as fire back. Back as fire back. <laughs> Did they want any coal? And a bit of scandal. Yeah. There were a bit of scandal going on. Don't be. Pat was here, Wigan. Don't be repeating that. No, we aren't. We aren't um, repeating it. Don't want to get anybody in. I I, I can't repeat he, it because he, I, he I never. He I don't. Stuff. To me, when people are talking in a room like that, it's just mumbles, mutterings. Pat picks up the actual words. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she knows. She hears it. Mm. I don't. <laughs> well, they weren't exactly being quiet. Right. But there were other things going on, and if there's too many things, you can't 
zone out, can you? No, it, it's... I, I have a hard time picking up what they're saying on... On TV. TV and... Yeah. I do. Um, mm. I'm getting to be a right old duffer. <laughs> I'll probably have one of them on soon, you know. Oh. Hello! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> well, my brother and his wife have both got hearing yes, aids. Yes, they have, yeah. But they do talk loud, don't they? <sighs> my brother's got the loudest voice. Talk about, um, what's oh, his name? Yeah. That actor. Brian Blessed. Oh, when, um, <clears throat> when dog were a bit younger and it used to go wandering off. Oh, and he used to shout it. Oh. It really loud. Could hear him miles away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because with it being a little um, Jack Russell, it <clears throat> it like chasing things, didn't it? Going down holes. Ah, uh, well, could. it's the breed, Rabbits isn't it? Rabbits and yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was terrible to get back if he went. Yeah, I think he's a bit better now. Mm. Well, he's getting old like me. <laughs> dog. <laughs> Even dog don't go running down rabbit holes anymore. No, we don't. No, we don't do rabbit holes anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like Camper Van Kevin us, we just park up somewhere now and... Yeah. Stay. Watch what goes on. Yeah. If we find a nice place that's got... Nice things. I don't know what that means. I don't summer. think I'm going down that hill though, will you? That you went down. No. It sounds as though that were a bit too much. Yeah. But we're going to have to go into. I think when we go into Richmond. Richmond might go to the station. Yeah, go to the station, park up. Park up there. There's a, a walk there in the on yeah, flat yeah. level. So I think, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Yeah. So that's our job for today again. Um, whether there's enough, it don't last long. I don't. I connect when this is this phone is connected to this gimbal with Bluetooth. I I have a feeling you might know more than me that it wears the battery down. It seems to. The battery goes flat quickly. Mm. On when it's on the gimbal, when I'm out with it. But uh, then I don't know, because I do this on a morning. Yeah. Whether... Uh, you need to recharge it yeah, before you go out. Yeah, well, in time, is there? So, I don't know, maybe it's that. It's hard to say. You'll know more than me whether, when you connect them up, um, you know, is it draining the power on the phone, the gimbal? I don't know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, don't know much about them. Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say for today. Yeah. Um, okay, hope you're, yeah. hope you're all fine. Um, yeah. As we are, yeah. no more troubles. We're okay, we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Caravan's gone this morning, hasn't it? That we're here when we arrived. He's gone. Yeah, uh, he's been here a while. You got a funny phone call from surgery yesterday. Oh, I did. You got got your name wrong, didn't no, you? I got don't you mixed know what up with someone. Done. Got you mixed up with someone else, didn't they? Wanted me to ring him. Um, so I rang him and I gave him me my name and my date of birth, like you do, and um. He said, oh, that we'd like you to come in and see Dr. Lee. I said, all oh, right. What's that? Um, it's about your mole. <laughs> I said, what mole? <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, um, just let me check, he said. And off he went, and music come on, and he come back, and he said, um, I don't know, there seems, maybe there's been a mix-up, he says, if if you don't know what, why you're supposed to be coming in. And I said, no. <laughs> he says, oh, well, 
Um, I've spoken to my um, whoever it was. Um, we'll just leave it there for now and um, we must have got something wrong. Something must have got mixed up somewhere. I thought <laughs> I've enough wrong without going in for moles and it's <clears throat> I think it, it's they've shut they've shut our shirt surgery down for six, six months for refurbishment. So it's all moved to another surgery and maybe that's because it's never why. not like this has ever happened before. No. No. Mm. no. Yeah. So there we are. If you get any text, make sure it's for you. <laughs> 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 don't go and have a leg off if you don't need to. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.